The integrated circuit can be seen everywhere in our world. The continuous IC evolution makes our lives interesting and convenient. But do you know where ICs come from? In the 1940s, vacuum tubes were invented and directly led to the birth of the first computer. The first computer, ENIAC, was made of vacuum tubes and various components. It had 18,800 vacuum tubes, was 50 feet long by 30 feet wide, and weighed 30 tons. Besides its ridiculous size and weight, the vacuum tube had many disadvantages. A large amount of heat appeared during the power-consuming signal transmission process, which caused serious failures. To solve these problems, Walter H. Bratton, John Bardeen, and William Shockley started to look for an alternative to replace vacuum tubes in Bell Labs in the USA. In 1948, they successfully developed the world's first germanium transistor with only 1 20th the size of a vacuum tube. It was a solid state semiconductor functioning as an electric switch and could be used for different purposes such as amplification, switching, voltage regulation, and signal modulation. 800 transistors were used to build a new computer, Tradic. Compared to computers made of vacuum tubes, Tradic was cheaper, lighter, faster, more energy efficient, and more reliable. The invention of computers drove development of the information industry. Transistors were made of germanium originally, but they stopped operating when temperatures reached 80 degrees Celsius. Silicon, however, an element belonging to the same group as germanium on the periodic table, can sustain temperatures up to 180 degrees Celsius. Also, silicon is the second most abundant element in the Earth. Because of all these advantages, Morris Tannenbaum developed the first silicon transistor in Bell Labs in 1954. In 1958, Jack Kilby from Texas Instruments Central Research Lab invented the first integrated circuit. While his colleagues were on vacation, Jack worked in the lab and drafted the concept of the world's first IC. He integrated different components into a germanium chip, developing a device with a small footprint. Two months later, he successfully presented the world's first IC with a simple design only around 0.5 inches in length. The invention of the IC drives development of the semiconductor industry and changes our lives permanently. In the future, IC chips will continue to make our lives more convenient and amazing. <laughs>